All right, what wonderful music to start out a nice lunch with. Um, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining um, us for our executive leadership luncheon. This is the first time ever, if you can believe it, that we are meeting you at a luncheon digitally. Feels like we've been in this um, Zoom space for a lot longer, but this is the first time we've ever had this luncheon digitally. My name is Stacey Weaver and I'm the American Heart Association Executive Director for the San Diego and Southwest Riverside County Districts. I wanna start by thanking Denise Wilson for her leadership and dedication to the American Heart Association for serving as our 2021 Southwest Riverside County Heart and Stroke Walk Chair. Before we dig Thank into our lunch, <laughs> sorry, before we dig into our lunch, and I hope everyone is having a healthy, heart healthy meal, I want to share an answer with a question that may you have in, may have in your mind. Yes, the walk is still occurring on April 17th and we are so excited about it. We are watching guidelines closely and we'll make a determination about exactly how the event will look this year, but we are moving full speed ahead for a great event and we are grateful for your support. With that, let me welcome this year's Southwest Riverside County Heart and Stroke Walk Chair, Denise Wilson. Thank you so much, Stacy, for that. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the American Heart Association's Executive Leadership Luncheon. My name is Denise Wilson, and I am a realtor here in Temecula at Real Estate Places, and I am so proud to serve you as your 2021 American Heart Association Heart and Walk Chair for Riverside County. I know how busy all of you are, and I just want to take a special time to thank you for taking your time and to join us today in learning more about the American Heart Association and the work that's being done to create a healthier Southwest Riverside County. Today, we will hear why it's more important than ever for you and your company to get involved and to support the life-saving mission of the American Heart Association and all the benefits to get involved will provide you and your employees. We also will share how the American Heart Association is making immediate impact right now during the COVID pandemic and also helping to change the long life health trajectory of our communities and our families. This morning, you will learn how you can join me in stepping up and leading the way to support the American Heart Association's vital mission in strengthening the health of our community. Let me take a minute now to acknowledge and to thank everyone who is serving on our executive leadership team. Denise Wilson, of course, me. <laughs> Stephanie Bricker, Southwest Healthcare System. Dr. Andrew Hull, Temecula Center for Cardiac Care. Mr. Ben Hunter, Abbott Vascular, Kevin Short, Anzer Electric Cooperative, and Peter Zarakos, Mount San Jacinto College. Let's give them a virtual applause for all of their wonderful leadership in being part of this team. And we cannot um, forget our sponsors. So I wanna say a thank you to Abbott, to Anza Electric Cooperative, Southwest Healthcare System, and Mount San Jacinto College. Let's give them also a virtual round of applause. I think most of you have gotten pretty used to this video conference meeting thing. I know I have. So just let me give you some reminders. Please remember that um, stay on mute unless you're talking. And uh, if you have any difficulties, we have our American Heart staff in the chat area and they'll be more than happy to help you with any problems that arise. Now, to kick things off, we are placing you into a breakout room so you can get to know one another better. We will be utilizing the Zoom breakout room feature and our guru, Danielle, will be taking care of everything so you don't have to worry about anything, just stay in your seats. One of our goals today though, is to connect local leaders in Southwest Riverside County to the work of the American Heart Association. So when you are in your breakout rooms, please say hello to those you know and meet some new folks that you don't know, but feel free to share with them what has brought you to the American Heart Association. 
and what inspired you to be here with us today. Our wonderful American Heart staff and our ELT leaders will be taking notes so we can do a quick recap when we come back as a group. Now, when your five minutes are up, Danielle will bring everyone back to the main session. No one needs to do anything. She's going to handle everything for you. So with that said, we will see you back here in five minutes in the main session. Have fun chatting. Welcome back, everyone. I think we have everyone back. I can't see, we do? Okay, perfect. I hope you guys all enjoy getting to know some of the people on the call. I had the American Heart Association team texting me um, some of the things that people were hearing. I know one of them was you are, you guys are excited for a healthier community. I know Dr. Gomez shared that. Um, you guys are really excited about getting involved. And I know George Mills shared that. But one thing I took note is George says, you only have one heart. And that really struck the core. I love that, George, that he shared. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, George, he shared that. And I love that because George, I think it's probably only been just a little over a year that George underwent his open heart surgery. He is truly a testimony. And for him to say, you only get one heart, that's so true. So I, I love it. And I'll be using it more and more. So thank you guys so much for all of the input and all the excitement that's here. I myself have been a longtime supporter and a leader um, for the American Heart Association. And I would like to share with you why I continue to invest and work with this organization. Most of you guys know that heart disease and stroke are a significant threat to our employees and to our nation. The reality is that cardiovascular diseases accounts for more deaths than all forms of cancer combined. I know, just take a second and, and, and absorb that, but it's true. And the number five killer is stroke, and that's the leading cause of long-term disability. The numbers like this tell us that we are not exempt. No one is exempt, not even the ones that are on this call right now. We can all be affected by cardiovascular disease. Lasting change in our community helped will improve us with relentless efforts and powerful partnership that starts right here with all of you that are on this call and with the leaders like yourself. And I think somebody is not on mute. Sorry, I think Carrie, we could hear. Sorry, I apologize. That's okay, no problem. And I just wanna share a little of my story with you. I. Nine years ago, I had no idea what the warning signs of cardio, cardiovascular disease were about. The, I was feeling lightheaded. I was having fatigue, shortness of breath. I was working out. I was running. I was doing all of that. Had no clue. It's like, not me. I'm 48 years old. You know, I'm, I'm healthy. And I started having all of these difficulties. Went to the cardiologist. He ran the series of tests. And I think over a three-month span, he called me in. He finally got the diagnosis. He said, you have atrial septal defect. And I thought, okay, what is that? I'm clueless. He said, you have a hole in your heart. He says, it's been there since birth. And at the age of 48, he says, I am really surprised that you are still here on this earth. Now I'm freaking out because I'm like, well, what's going on? He says, because normally people that have the hole in their heart the size of yours, and he said it was the size of the tip of my thumb. He says, they don't live this long. He says, because of the, the complications that you're having. And he says, this was on a Friday. He says, we're ordering you for immediate open heart surgery on Monday. So you can imagine Friday, you're planning for the weekend, but no, you're planning to have open heart surgery. And he did tell me, he said, your life will be different. And when I went and had my procedure, there was a candy striper that came into my room. He says, Denise, your days will be different from this moment forth. He says, but I want you to do is get involved with American Heart Association. They have all the tools, they have all the information, all the knowledge that you would need to continue with your life so that you can live a healthier life. And I kid you not, I probably a month after I got discharged, I got involved with the American Heart Association. 
I never would have imagined that I would have experienced what I did in my 40s. Uh, I had been shown the true I have. It just made me um, realize what life truly means. And sometimes we may take that life for granted. It has shown me the true value of time and made me grateful that I continue to be experienced in all the life precious moment. It has also made me a huge champion for heart and wellness, for exercise, for eating healthy, for educating the public on what heart and stroke disease is. Even today, I walk at least three to four miles every day with my family to keep my heart pumping. Like George says, you only get one heart. This is why I am involved with the American Heart Association. We are pushing the envelope to ensure that all Americans have the opportunity to have a happy and a healthy life. And that's what it's all about, guys. On a local level, the American Heart is working tirelessly to promote health and wellness while addressing existing health disparities. I would like to introduce you to an awesome cardiologist, Dr. Andrew Ho to share more about the community, the impact and work, the work that's being done right here in Southwest Riverside County. Dr. Ho is the head of cardiology at Temecula Valley Hospital. He operates his own practice at Temecula Center for Cardiac Care, sits on the board of directors for the American Heart Association, San Diego Division, and is also part of our leadership team on the Southwest Riverside County Heart and Stroke Team. Thank you so much, Dr. Ho. Thank you, Denise. This year, the American Heart Association San Diego Division is focused locally on controlling high blood pressure, increasing equitable access to healthy food, preventing and reducing the use of tobacco products, women's health, and of course, COVID-19. You see that equity is at the heart of everything we do. Across the country, we know that your zip code and where you live matters. The chart shows the life expectancy across Southwest Riverside County. As you can see, someone that lives in Temecula has a life expectancy of 82 years, while someone who lives in Hemet has a life expectancy of only 76.3 years. That's the difference of five years. What will you do with 1,800 more days? Now let's look at the health equity map, which represents health inequalities in Southwest Riverside County. This is the health equity map score from the California Healthy Places Index. This measures things like how many adults have insurance, access to healthcare, walkability, trees, and other environmental factors, as well as access to grocery stores and other essentials to live a healthier lifestyle. You can see that the areas in blue have an equity score below 25%, meaning 75% of other communities have higher scores than them. This is where we are focused on making an impact in Southwest Riverside County. It's not just about telling people to live a healthy life, but giving them the opportunity to live a healthy life. And we cannot do this alone. We need more leaders like you to help us continue our work. Think about the value of time. If you had more years to do all the things you want, what would you do with more time? In fact, let's hear from someone who has been given the gift of time. Time. When I think of time, I think of my life. Imagine a life where at nine days old, you have your first open heart surgery instead of being safe and healthy at home with your new family. Imagine a life where at three years old, you have your second open heart surgery instead of taking your first dance lesson. 
Imagine a life where at five years old, you're placed on a heart transplant list to receive a new heart. Imagine a life where you've had 786 days in the cardiac ICU, 350 echocardiograms, 100 chest x-rays, 5 sinus surgeries, 3,800 blood drops, 58 heart casts and biopsies, 68 days on kidney dialysis, 32 daily pills, 18 months on a feeding tube, 7 open heart surgeries, and 2 heart transplants. Those situations are not hard for me to imagine because they are my real life. It might be hard to see, but I've been given the gift of time. How? Through the constant support of my family, through the unconditional love of my friends, I can't imagine what my life would have been like if not for the work of the American Heart Association. They gave me the gift of time and the time to live my life. Now, imagine a world where everyone who battles heart disease and stroke is given the gift of time. Wow. I know I have already shared what I would do with the gift of time. What would you do with more time? I just cannot imagine her testimony. When I underwent open heart surgery, I know how long it took for me to just get back to walking again and on my own. So what would you do with more time. Now we can all admit that today's program has shown us that we are in the midst of a health crisis that would have a long-term effect. It has also shown us that we can each play a role in addressing this crisis by creating a culture of health in our workplaces. Here is where we can get involved right now to make an impact. As your 2021 Heart and Stroke Walk Chair, I need for you to join me in my mission to positively impact the community that we live and that we serve every day. I would like for you to accept my invitation and join the Executives with Heart Challenge with a personal commitment to donate or raise at least $5,000 and we can do that as a community. You can begin this challenge by making a personal donation today. That video was very, very touching. But we can continue to make an impact together. To help you with this call to action, I am asking each of you to meet with the Heart Association team to discuss how you can get involved in the Heart Walk and other programs that the American Heart Association has. Myself and Andrew will follow up with you this week to schedule a meeting so we can figure out how we can save our community and live a healthier life. Now I want you to come off a of mute and I want you to type, either type I'm in or either come off a of mute and let us hear you say I'm in. I'm joining partnership with the American Heart Association because I know there needs to be a change, not only within me, but in our community and in my family. If that is you, I want you to come off from you and say, I'm in, or type it in the chat. We have the staff looking at the chat. Hey, Marianne's in. Hi, Marianne. Thank you for being here. Marianne is the mayor of the city of Temecula, the wonderful city of Temecula. Thank you again for being here. I'll take one red. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. You have another opportunity to wear red. I know George Mill says he's in. George, are you there? So does it count if you've been in for a long time already? No, it does not count. I mean, it does count. Everything counts. We want everybody to be in. Partnership. Yep. I this think computer, I'm I'm in too. 
Thank you. We appreciate you. I think Shelly Moore. Yeah. I'm trying um, to yeah. On behalf of myself and Century 21 Preferred and Amer uh, America's Escrow, we are in to help support this amazing cause. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. And I'm seeing all in the chat that everybody is in. They want to partner with the American Heart Association. And I just want to say thank you to everyone. What an amazing group of leaders that we have here on this call. And thank you to those who have already made their commitment. On behalf of the American Heart Association and the Heart Walk Executive Leadership Team, thank you all for being with us today and making a commitment to improve the health of our community. Now, don't forget to sign up for our 2021 Heart and Walk, Heart and Stroke Walk. And um, it probably will be live. We don't know yet, but just stay tuned. Put it on your calendar for April the 17th. And also, don't forget, we're kicking off Heart Health Month. February is Heart Health Month. And February the 5th is National Go Red for Women Day. And that event, Rock Your Red, is our annual event. I think this is our sixth year for doing this to fundraise for the American Heart Association. This is gonna be a free virtual Zoom event. It's on Friday, February the 5th, and that's when you can definitely rock your red. It's from 10 to 11.30, and we're gonna have lots of fun there. And the link is also in the chat if you want to register. Again, it's a free event, and it's all the proceeds support the American Heart Association. So again, I just want to thank you as your chair for the 2021 Heart and Stroke Walk. Thank you for joining us today. And I am so excited at, that we're going to partner together. We're going to accomplish a lot this year. Yes, together we can create a healthier Southwest Riverside County and have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. Thank you again for being thank here. You. Bye, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good thank day. Thank you, guys. Everybody. Goodbye, and thank you. You guys are welcome. God bless. Thank you.